So this is gonna be a totally different kind of vlog. Right into the Lancaster Fly Fishing Show. I'm here with the Susquehanna River Keepers, so be a good day to um, kind of reconnect with the other passion that I have is fly fishing and my vice and uh, talk about lower Susquehanna River Keepers and see what they've got going on. So uh, I'll check back in at the convention. We'll shoot some video there. We'll shoot some stills. Um, we'll kind of go around and, and see what's around and shoot some B-roll. So catch y'all then. That is, um, you should look to see if Tim Flagler is doing anything today. Like, yeah, Tightline Productions. He's the one who does all the tying videos for Orvis. Um, really phenomenal guy. Um, Flagler. Look at the Orvis Learning Center. Yeah. He does all of their tying videos. He's just a great videographer. Um, Company is called Tightline Productions. He has a 1115, which is 10 minutes around it. Uh, size matters. Can tie comfortably as an 18, 18 to 20, 20 yeah. if I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah. But anything smaller than that, I buy it if I'm even fishing it. It's rare that I tie on anything smaller than a 16 anyway. East Coast, you know, we're we're not getting the big blizzard hatches that they get out west. about these Takara style flies I've been tying. So uh, yeah, good stuff, good day, and catch you soon, bye. All right, here we go. I'm done here at the fly fishing show. The things are kind of winding down. There's only a couple hours left and uh, it's been a good day. It's been a good day just kind of walking around and, and meeting other anglers, um, fly tires and guides and fly shops and you name it. Um, there's so many cool things happening here today. Um, some really fits, such an open resource, people sharing their knowledge um, of techniques and sharing their knowledge of water and reading water and developing fly patterns, sharing materials, just sharing experiences, which is really what this thing is all about. I'm here. I'm gonna head out, probably uh, grab some, got a couple of sheets of uh, Ektar 100 loaded up in large format, and it's a gorgeous sunny day here in Lancaster, so I'm gonna go and grab some shots, uh, maybe catch some footage of that, show it in the next video. So, with that, I'll sketch y'all later. I'm kind of at the Lancaster fly fishing show, and there's a little demonstration happening right now. So I'm gonna hang out and do some shooting. awesome experience. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's actually a, uh, a, a peaceful protest happening about, um, about DACA. 
uh, about the Dreamers Act and bring some black and white images of the crowd and of the faces, um, you know, and the speakers of, of um, really standing up for their rights. Um, Is it cold? Ooh, I was gonna shoot some more front map, but that ain't happening. Ooh, cold. Uh, demonstration was super cool. Um, yeah, just really awesome. I'm glad I had a camera with me and was able to catch some footage. So I'm gonna be developing that role. It's gonna go into this video for sure. This camera is the one that you got with you at all times, or the one you have with you in the moment. It's still going rapid fire after coming into that, um, like seeing that protest happening like right in front of me, and being able to pull out my Canon FTP and fire off some frames and capture those moments. Man, that's why I'm a photographer. It's a wrap for me today. Well, at least on this large format part. So here's what you can expect. I'm gonna develop the role that I shot today at the demo, at the demonstration. Be stoked about the share of those with you. Thanks for hanging with me. Catch y'all in the next one. See ya, bye.